Hello, we meet again. At follow the best channel. In this video just only educational purposes between Christians and Muslims. And this time Mr. Ahmed EX Muslim will give many Muslims educations the truth about Jesus Christ. Now, let's look at what Muslims said to Ahmad X Muslim so we can learn the truth from them. So enjoy watching video. Please share, comment and subscribe this channel. God bless you. Nusa, come on Nusa. <coughs> can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Okay. Uh, Are you Muslim? No, I'm not Muslim. I'm Christian. I, I just, uh, since you say you were ex-Muslim, I'm pretty, uh, I know you know a lot of, you know, Islam, religion. So I have a couple questions that I need to be, because I follow a lot of lives, Muslim and Christian debate. And that is, there's always. Okay. Uh, so you didn't waste in weight. You're understanding English very well, right? Yes. Okay. For didn't wasting your time, because you're watching with uh, debating, there is no one of them have the knowledge. You're wasting yeah. your time. Go yeah. to my YouTube channel. Okay. They have more than 615 videos. Go okay. watch it. We are, as an Arab speakers ex muslim arab we understand the quran very well in our mother language because the quran in my mother language however who translate the quran for you and for the other languages he didn't translate properly oh, okay maybe, maybe you can answer this right? one just just a little bit before i go um mm -hmm. so there are two questions they always say that Muslim argue that Jesus is a Muslim, which I find how? ironic. Tell him how. So they say Jesus because he bowed down his head to the ground. Mm -hmm. and Do you know Muhammad learning to bow down uh, from Orthodox Church? So uh, every time that's, that's no. A Listen, brother. Muhammad and Allah learning to bow down from orthodox church okay yes yeah they they <laughs> that's a, every time they say that they, i just laugh i was okay. like just so he said he said jesus was a muslim right yeah which means muhammad liar in quran because muhammad said he is the first muslim Mm -hmm. So Muhammad came before Jesus? No. After Jesus. After Jesus. And of Muhammad first Muslim. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the verse. Wa umirtu an akuna awwal al muslimin. Wa umirtu an akuna in uh, chapter. 39 verse 12 let me pull it up 39 12 it, it, it's just it's funny because when they say that even some some muslim rejected jesus and now they embrace jesus uh jesus is muslim but they used to they hate jesus they used to say jesus is not you know, he's not God, he's not this. He doesn't know Jesus. Muslim doesn't know Jesus. Muslim knowing Isa. Isa is a son of Muta. Allah commit Muta with his mother. Muslim doesn't know Jesus. They're knowing Isa. Isa is a Muta boy. Yeah, they say, I whatever, how you call him, Isa. Uh, I said, we don't know, Christian don't know who is Isa, no, that's not Jesus. 
That's not Jesus for us. No, no, it's not. His mother commit muta'a with Allah in chapter 66, verse 12. And in chapter 19, verse 17. I can prove it in Quran. Chapter 39. Memorize it. Chapter 39. Verse 12. Verse 12. And if we go uh, to Sahih International or Yusuf Ali, this is mother. And I have been commented, commented to be first leave it bracket this is lie of yeah. the muslims mm -hmm. it was the first muslim because in arabic there is no bracket right. al muslimin first muslim okay okay and i am commanded to be the first of those this is lie this is lie right first muslim Muhammad is first Muslim. Let me choose all translations to see which one is correct. Which one is closer. And I will give you another hadith also. The Muslim not meaning that he bowed down. If now, if I said, for example, everyone he bowed down, which means he's a Muslim. And I can see, I can see the Hindu bow down to the cow. That is a Muslim too. Honestly, they say... You know, right. there was the one who was arguing that uh, is, uh, he even say everybody is, is a Muslim as long as you do the will of Allah. Mm -hmm. I said, no, 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 no. Okay, so what's the will of Allah? Can That's why I don't know. The will of Allah? That's why I don't know. The will of Allah to be killer. Exactly. The will of Allah to be a thief. That's, that's the will funny. of Allah to be a rapper. Right. That is the will of Allah. But they, they, they will never acknowledge that. I don't care about them. If he came to me and told me that, I will make him cry. Right. <laughs> That's why, you know, I like you so much. You know, I've been following you. And uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes you appear on my page. Sometimes you're not. I, you know, I, I, I thought they banned you for, forever because I was like, where is this guy? I don't see him anymore. Yeah, I have two months. I didn't open live stream because I have financial uh, problem. Oh, okay. But I opened in Arabic site a couple days. Yeah, well, yeah good, to, good to see you back, man. I, I uh, You know, it's very encouraging, you know, because I know Muslims, they hate you. They hate you for telling yeah. the truth. You know, they hate, uh, you know, it's always lying, 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 def deflecting. And then there's another one. I don't want to take a, a lot of your time, but there's another one. They say when they confront it, they say Aisha was six years old and Muhammad was like in his 40s, whatever. They say, what about Rebecca? What about Rebecca? They, that, that's there is nothing, not such thing you can do it with uh, Rebecca they because say, according Bible years old. according years old. Bible Rebecca she was woman yeah because she used to be service the animal carrying the you know the the bar of water to the animals right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. exactly yeah so you can't do, do they... nothing with the rebecca in a bible so where did they come up with uh rebecca was three years old from the opinion of paganism yeah which is disgusting yeah and, uh, and if you read the bible there's no for he make it for he make it lawful quran allowed to marry babies for you didn't talk about the Quran chapter 65 verse 4 he lawful for you to marry babies no problem for you didn't talk about it he will talk about the Rebecca lie I can't hear. No, no, I make. Uh, I, I just muted myself oh, okay, because okay. my daughter she's talking with okay, me. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
So uh, for make it lawful to marry babies in Quran, for you didn't talk about it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. He talk about oh Rebecca was uh, three years old, but that is like <laughs> Musa come to prove it to you. Come Musa, no. come on Musa. That's funny, you know. Come Musa. That, that, that's not an argument. That's not an argument. When when you say yeah, what you about can't. what about what about what about Rebecca? What about this? That's not an argument. No. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so according Quran, yeah. brother Musa. In Quran, Allah allowed enemy and any single Muslim to marry child babies, babies, one yeah. two years old, no problem. Oh my God! Yeah, and he can enter it, no problem. Oh my God! And he can use their hand to feel happy. You got like, it? This is so gross. Yeah, and even uh, even Musa, even the scholar allowed the man. Oh my God! If he fasting Ramadan, and he feel hot, and he scared his balls to bomb, he can use the baby hand. Oh my God! <laughs> See, that's why that's why they hate you because you tell the truth, you know. And he can use his wife tongue, no problem. So hypocrisy. That's why I don't like hypocrisy. Yeah. They say, oh, women have to be covered. And you doing the pedophilia? No. At the no. same time, you you not you, all you women. Willing... Not no, sir. Not all women. So which means your right hand possess don't need it to cover it her breast. That's She's great. supposed to be uh, cover it only uh, her private part between knee and the uh, whole of belly. That is crazy. That's it. Yeah. That so like a man. That's crazy. So yeah. when 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 as it's the right of... hand possess supposed to be walking in a street and the top naked, the breast showing up and playing game. Amar ibn Khattab one day saw one right hand possess covered her breast. He beat her with a stick, and he said, "Do not make yourself looks like." A Muslim woman, oh you are a right hand possess. Uncover it your breast, yalla. See, this is why I say hypocrisy. So these people saying even women, that's sad. Women are supporting. They say, oh, there's no Islam is not a violent religion towards women, but they say they beat women, don't they? Bro, Allah teach him in Quran to beat women. وَهْجُرُوهُنَّ فِي الْمَضَاجَعْ وَضْرِبُوهُنَّ That's sad. Yes. Enemy of lies, how are you? Hello brother, how are you brother? Alhamdulillah Jesus, are you Muslim, Christian? Uh, no, I'm Christian brother, I, I follow you and I really blessed by your service that you are providing brother. You are teaching so many Christians and uh, of course yeah, you are... Of course, you are threat to Islamic world. That is, <laughs> that is true. But we are also. Yeah, I think you are a Muslim. I'd be happy. Oh, we have a customer Muslim. <laughs> no, <but> uh, <laughs> actually, I, I, you know, we we also as a Christian we, we are very blessed because uh, the service uh, the, because you you've been educating us. So you know, we enter in encounter with Muslims. We have some ground to answer their questions. So. You know, brother, I need to ask a quick question. I don't want to take much of your time. If uh, if you are okay to answer. Uh, Go ahead, brother. Brother, this uh, hadith uh, is a Sahih Bukhari 3337. It uh, comparison with, the, uh, you know, Allah's uh, uh, Prophet uh, uh, Muhammad, he did some comparison of uh, Dajjal with Allah. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, his name, let me memorize. Um, Sayyad, he said, وَرَبَّكُمْ لَيْسَ بِدَجَّالِ Yes, he said, Allah is not... Uh, yes, 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 yes. I do remember it. وَرَبَّكُمْ لَيْسَ بِعَوَرِ I do remember so, it. Yes. Yeah. 
can I explain a little bit in Arabic? Uh, you know, I read in uh, English. It says Antichrist is short and uh, hand toed. Woolly. Let me see it. Let me see it in English side. How they translate it first, right? Is the same in Arabic or in? Okay, so uh, we have it in Sahih Muslim in Arabic. How about in English? In which Sahih you read it? It's a uh, it's a uh, uh, Sunnah dot com. It's in the Sahih Sunnah. Muslim, right? No, it's a Sahih Bukhari and uh, uh, Abi Daud. Uh, okay, uh, give me the number of hadith. Sunnah Abi Daud, uh, four thousand three hundred twenty. So you said Sahih Al Bukhari, right? Sunnah Abi uh, uh, Abi Daud. Okay, Sunan Abi Daud. Which which number? Four thousand three hundred twenty. Four thousand three hundred twenty. Okay. Kitab al Malahim. Come to me. Let's see. Inbox, Jesus Christ. Okay. Mhm. Mm In Arabic, he said, um, after the chain of narration. إني قد حدثتكم عن الدجال حتى خشيت أن لا تعقلوا إن مسيح الدجال رجل قصير أفحج جعد أعور مطموس العين ليس بناتئة ولا جحراء فإن ألبس عليكم فاعلموا أن ربكم ليس بأعور That is crazy bro Jay. In English uh, the prophet Peace be said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, Antichrist, that I am afraid you may not understand. The Antichrist is a short, hand taught, a wally haired, a one eye, an eye slightless, and neither a prodroting nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eye. Okay, so first of all, uh, Allah of Islam, he has an eye because Muhammad, he proved Allah of Islam, he has an eye. Right? And Muhammad, he said he saw his Lord and he said the day of judgment. You will see your Allah. Let me give you this. Compare with this same hadith. This is dangerous, right? For that, because the day of judgment, the Muslim will see their own Allah, and Allah He will come to him, and they will told him, "I am your Allah," and they were responding, "No, you are not our Lord." He will run and come again with a, a beautiful clause. Like first time they seeing, they will told him, "I am your Lord." They will following him. For that, Muhammad gave it this hadith. Let me give you the other hadith. Summa yati. Summa yati. Sahih Bukhari 3337. The surah alati arifuha. Qabil fayakul ana rabbukum. Is in Sahih al Bukhari also? Let me see which verse, exa uh, which number in uh, Al Tumaruna. Uh, 3337, I think. Same hadith I, I shared it now, I told you? Yes, yes, 3300. Okay. For that, Muhammad he tried to educate his follower to knowing. But 100% he's an antichrist, Allah, because we can see according to Quran, he just attacking Christianity and Jewish. That's it. From here you can see Allah is antichrist. Yeah, so Allah is comparing the Jal with the, you know, Muhammad is comparing the Jal with the, Jal with the Allah. So Allah, yes. it means Allah has not one eye, Allah has two eyes, whereas the Jal has one eye. Yes. Yeah, you can compare apple with apple. So it means Allah and the Jal are the, you know, of a same entity, like a, they, they are spiritual being. Exactly. Yeah. 
So oh, yeah, one more quick question, brother. Thank you, sorry. Thank Go you, ahead, brother. Yeah, this uh, muta muta has been uh, you know when we speak to Muslim, they say muta has been abrogated. But is that abrogated to what? You have to tell me abrogated to what? Uh, from ten, from ten. Uh, no, sorry, abrogated. Uh, when? Who abrogated? So this is the Amar. Amar abrogated. Amar is a prophet. Amar is Allah. Because Muhammad died and he didn't upgrade it, and they used to be, uh, you know, practicing the muta after Muhammad died. Yeah. But okay. Amr he abrogated the muta. So which means Amr is Allah? Hmm? Or Amr receiving revelation from Allah? Uh, which means Amr prophet? Yeah, but the question is. In the Quran, it was allowed once. Eh? It's a lawful. It's a lawful forever. And lawful forever because we doesn't have any verse to upgrade it. Why? Because Allah said that in Quran. وَإِذْ بَدَّلْنَا آيَةً وَمَا نَنْسَخُ مِنْ آيَةٍ أَوْ نُنْسِيهَا نَأْتِي بِخَيْرٍ مِنْهَا أَوْ مِثْلِهَا Which means when we upgraded any verse, we have to replace it with another verse. Where's the other verse Allah replaced? Oh, okay. That's a very good <laughs> argument. Right? Let me give you the verse number in Quran. Because I memorized the Quran in Arabic. وَمَا نَنْسَخُ مِنْ آيَةٍ أَوْ نُنْسِيهَا نأتي بخير منها أو مثلها. Chapter two, verse one oh six. Where the other verse upgraded the, this verse, mutabers? There is no verses to upgrade it. Do you saying Amr he upgraded Allah verse? Hmm, interesting. Who's Amr? So yeah, right. yeah, that's right. That's right. So. But they come with very strong, like, uh, you know, saying, they, because now they feel ashamed, you know, they are ashamed of their prophet, they cannot defend. So that's why I think they come up with this idea, oh, it has been abrogated, because it is a, you know, it is a stigma for, uh, in, the, in, the, in the modern society, it is not acceptable. So they come up with this, that, uh, uh, so there is no evidence of uh, abrogation uh, of muta in the Quran. Not from Muhammad, not from Allah. Not from Muhammad, not from Allah. Because Muhammad first time he uh, he first uh, first time Muhammad he make it lawful and unlawful and lawful and Muhammad die and the muta is lawful. That's disgusting, eh? This very disgusting. I don't like people justify that stuff as well. Paul, how are you? I'm good, brother. I'm good. Christian, Muslim. Born again Christian, sir. You are very welcome, brother. So, yes, Omar, he upgraded the verse in Quran. So, who is Omar? Omar is Allah. Is a, Omar is a prophet. Let me give you the, the hadith number. Jesus talks about Muhammad. We were the false prophets. Yes, he is. Hundred percent. Can you share a verse that where the Allah allowed muta in the Quran? Chapter four, verse twenty-four. فَمَا اسْتَمْتَعْتُمْ بِهِ مِنْهُنَّ فَأَتُوهُنَّ أُجُورَهُنَّ فَرِيضًا when you commit muta with him, pay it him. Okay. Yeah. Did, but let me bring this from Bukhari and Muslim. They have two type of muta. Mm -hmm. Dingy dingy with woman. One muta dingy dingy with woman in uh, Hajj pilgrimage and. Other type of muta with woman anywhere. Muta al Hajj and muta al Nisa. Muta in the pilgrimage and muta in any time anywhere. Right? Okay. So 
If we go to Sahih Muslim, let me pull it up in English. I will give you a couple hadith about Muta. Okay? Let me pull it up in uh, sunnah.com. Let's see. Sunnah. There you go. For example, Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 1405D. Let me share with you here. Sahih Muslim 1405D. Jabir bin Abdullah reported We contracted temporary marriage, which means muta, giving a handful of what? Dates. Or <laughs> as a door during the lifetime of Allah's Messenger. Peace, 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 peace. And during the time of Abu Bakr, also after Muhammad died, right? Until Omar forbid it. Boom. <laughs> Who forbid the muta? <laughs> Which means Omar is Allah? Omar is Allah to forbid whatever he want. He want. Man, come on. Right? And I have another uh, hadith to share with you, but let me see who sent the request. Martyr. Martyrs. Come on, martyrs. Hello? Martyrs. Mr. Martyrs. He's scared. And also Sahih Muslim 1249. Let me show you. Look this. Sahih Muslim 1249. Abu Nadra reported, Well, I was in company of Jubair. A person came and said there is difference of opinion among Ibn Abbas and Ibn Zubair. About two mutas. To what? Mutas. Benefits in Hajj and temporary marriage with a woman. Whereupon Jabber said, or Jabber said, we have been doing that during the lifetime of Allah's Messenger. Peace, peace, peace. And then Omar forbid us to do so. Boom. <laughs> so who forbid the muta? Not Allah. Not his prophet. Omar. <laughs> Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So muta is a, is a lawful habibi in Islam according Allah Quran and Muhammad Hadith Sunnah. So Omar become Allah? I don't know. Because I proved it earlier today, Omar is teaching Allah and teaching Muhammad for the woman covering their body. <laughs> La uh, this halala is uh, still uh, uh, like a halala? Kalala. Halala, halala. Yeah, kalala. Not even Allah, not Muhammad, not Omar knowing what the Kalala meaning in Quran. No one knowing the Kalala in Quran. Sometimes when I, I spoke with a Muslim, I'm saying, even your Allah doesn't understand his Quran, they will be confused. Because I can prove it literally, even Allah doesn't know the meaning of the Quran. <laughs> The 
crazy. Let me give you this hadith about Kalala. Brother, after that, can you explain to me about this Imam Mahdi when you finished? Imam Mahdi is a, is a fake story, man. But according to Shia, Imam Mahdi, he will come out naked. He will come back naked during not, sunny daytime in the street he will clothes. walk naked the storm's gonna run away with his clothes <laughs> <laughs> yeah I will give you one strange hadith uh, okay Sahih Muslim 1617a it is a crazy look here brother So I am Muslim, 1617a. Omar ibn al-Khattab and read it here. He asked Muhammad three times what the Kalala meaning. And even Muhammad doesn't know what the Kalala. About the Kalala. Mm -hmm. Go read it, you will laugh. Mm -hmm. And another hadith. Look for short hadith in Arabic. Look in English. Try to explain a lot. See? See how much in English? Can you read it? Try to lie on you guys. But in Arabic, short. Can you read in Arabic and translate, brother? Exactly what is in Arabic? Yeah, Haddathani Yahya bin Malik and Zayd ibn Aslam and Umar ibn Khattab sa'ala Rasulullah an al Kalala faqala lahu yakfika min zalak ayat al ayalati unzilat fi saif akhir surat nisa. Done. So this all put X on it. Why? Because here he said this is the chain of narration till here and here. Talking Muhammad talking about the Kalala. Omar Abu Khattab came to ask Muhammad about the Kalala. Muhammad he said, Oh, that verse in summertime revealed the last verse in the Surah in Nisa. Not enough for you? Done. <laughs> Done. Look how much you try to lie. See? How much you try to lie? Oh. Okay. So, any more question? You are very welcome. Welcome to Islam, pagan religion. Kaaba. Have they still got idols in the Kaaba? You? No. What I, are you I, doing in Kaaba? You wanna kiss a black stone? No, I'm saying Come do on, they bro. still have do they still have idols in the Kaaba? Inside the Kaaba no, in the corner yes, they're kissing a black stone. I know, I know they kiss the black stone. And they're believing black stone for giving their sins. No, that's just pagan. They claim to be a mon monistic religion, believing in one God, but they kiss into a stone. And a stone that is paganism. So they reckon that stone's going to intercede for them. But if you recognize the stone looks like what? Like a vajayji of woman. <laughs> right? <laughs> Martyrs. Martyrs. Yeah, Matthew. Hello. How are you, sir? Alhamdulillah, Jesus. How are you, brother? Yeah, I'm good as well. It's been a while. Uh, um, I'm, I'm really enjoying your show. Um, and however, uh, you talk about certain things about Islam. Um, you were talking about abrogation. Uh, that also is a big confusion on my side.
you know because when i look at abrogation in islam you know it simply means that the god is not all knowing because uh, i asked a scholar about it earlier on i said because god will bring a first law in place and later he will change his mind and bring a new law like that applies for the direction of the prayer in at first place he said muslims when they are praying uh we pray towards jerusalem and and, and another ayah come god says you know now if you are praying you should not pray towards jerusalem but instead pray towards mecca so and again when it comes to um there is another ayah again regarding regarding the uh, uh the punishment for adult adulters said when a woman in there is an ayah which says that if a woman if a married woman commit an adultery you know you should put him in a house until they claim her until she died but that does lock not the door on her yeah lock the door till on her. she die or allah found a way for her which means till she die or the husband die yeah yeah and again another ayah come uh, said uh when when two when a man and a woman who got married when they committed adultery you should you know flood them a hundred times so this is a big confusion so the first law is now been abrogated by the second law so the question is now because me i see it as a contradiction when we muslims we muslims most of them call it as abrogation the god will you know first law he will erase the first law and put the new law so now nobody both of them will be in the quran but nobody will do the first one instead we will be do the latter part so that's a very big confusion so what's my question is if god is all knowing why didn't before he sent the first law why didn't he send the law at once but 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 he says something and later change his mind and there are too many verses in the quran regarding abrogation could you explain that to me okay so here according this point is a beautiful point but according this point allah destroy himself Absolutely. tell me how how if we open chapter 4 verse 82 can you read it let me pull it up in english chapter 4 verse 82 look allah what he said لو كان من عندي غير الله لو وجدوا فيه اختلافا كثيرا which means if the Quran not from Allah, you will find another uh, a lot of contradiction in it. Boom boom. <laughs> Look. Huh. Chapter 4, verse 82. أفلا يتدبرون القرآن لو كان من عندي غير الله لوجدوا فيه اختلافا كثيرا. Look in English. Yeah. Do they not ponder the Quran? Had it been from any other than Allah, they would have found it in, in it much as what? Discrepancies. Yeah, but, um. but, but even, <laughs> even this statement, even this statement is, is, you can even tell from this statement because it does not mean that we cannot find a mistake there. So, and God, all knowing God, so that we should not even found even a single mistake in the Quran. But if we are to find another mistakes there, that's it. That's 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 something to question about. Yeah, from here Allah prove it. He is not all knowing. Like earlier, I talk and I I prove it. Allah is not all knowing. He is not God. From His tongue, He proved that. Because he contradicts himself. And he said, if you found any mistake in Quran, you will know this Quran not from Allah. So thank you, Allah. You prove it to everybody. This Quran is not word of God. Allah doesn't testify like Jehovah testified in concerns with the Son. Jesus, the Father said, this is my Son, who I am well pleased. Allah does not say that. Well, Satanic verses in Quran, Habibi Palestini satanic verses in quran we doesn't have in a bible like that so if you trust your allah and trust your quran send request yeah i'm Sasha. still i'm still i'm still a practicing muslim but 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 i'm living with a big doubts you know because the things i've come across islam 
put me into a very big, big, big doubt. I just, my mind is keep debating over, you know, over heat, you know. Because when can I say something, sir? Can I say something? Be careful of the teaching of Islam where they say Jesus Christ was not crucified. Be careful in that doctrine. So when, it comes to, when it comes to Jesus issue, I have a very big problem there because Islam in the, in the Quran it says Jesus is Kalima to Allah, Surah Nisa verse one one seventy one. And again when it goes so when you go when you when you go to when you go to Surah Al Imran, it said uh, Jonah uh, 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 John will confirm word of Allah. That word of Allah there is Jesus. So I said now if 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 Jesus is is word of Allah, that qualify him to be God because you can't take an example from this word. You can't separate a man from his word. A man and his word are together. They are one. So if, yeah. if Jesus is God of is, is Allah's word, then Jesus qualifies to be called God. So but there's many prophecies about Jesus. Um, I just want to notice that. Uh, all brother and marchers, God bless you. I have only eight minutes because I will end this live and opening uh, from other account Arabic side live also. So if you wanna, brother Sasha, God bless you. God bless you, bro. What's up, bro? How are you doing, bro? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I did little research about the uh, you know origins of the Quran and, for example, for Surah 18, it's not Jewish, brother. It's actually Christian Apocrypha. Uh, al Qaeda story is uh, from Syriac monks. Literally 610 years, John Moshus, uh, Syriac monk and Asket writer, wrote that story, for, pick up from some monastery, from al Qaeda. You know, so it's actually Surah 18 is from Christian Apocrypha writings. Fairy tales of Christians. Yes. Baklaja, how are That's you, brother? Four, four to six, four, you, brother. How are you doing? I'm really Jesus. Are you Muslim, Christian? I'm Christian, my brother. I'm trying to following you. I'm watching your show. So nowadays you are doing in Arabic language, which I'm not understanding. So sometimes I'm just even 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 if I'm not understanding. I'm just I'm under your life. I'm just listening. You see, in Arabic side, we destroy Allah. You see, <laughs> yeah, in Arabic seen, side. Yeah. Minimum, minimum 600 person with me on Arabic side. <laughs> yeah, I have seen. Even I am, I'm sharing with some of my Arab friends, uh, which I have uh, a friend here around my place. So I'm sharing with them and uh, they are just admiring how you are explaining. And I have some questions, if you don't mind, before you are ending your life, the life. So, Go ahead, brother. Yes, uh, I heard that even if you do have a sex intercourse with animals, Allah will forgive you if you go and kiss dust, uh, my, if you go to Mecca. Is it true or I don't know? So Yes. Even there is no punishment. Even if you there do is no punishment with animals. if you did intercourse with the animals. According to <laughs> Mecca, Hanafi, Hanbali, Shafi, Maliki, there is no punishment. Is it a but maybe, uh, maybe, hadith? maybe one of them he can, you know, charge you to pay amount of the animal, and they will analyze the animal. Some of mazhab. But about you, nobody can, you know, punish, there is no punishment for you. Thank you, sir. For the human, however, Muslim he commit right. sex with the animal, there is no punishment. Maybe they charge him to pay. You know the amount of the animal, that's it. But there is no punishment. <laughs> and Imam Abu Hanifa said, La hadda ala man wata Done. However, who commit adultery with animal, there is no punishment for him. Welcome to Islam. Brother, brother, that, they said that we can see in in Germany, in Germany when the immigration start coming to Germany. In Germany, they used to put a sign in, um, and, and, and somewhere when animals, uh, what we call, um, <laughs> <Zoo. laughs> and so, yeah, so animals, whatever, they used to put a sign, no adultery with animal. Because it's supposed <laughs> to be the, the, the 
people used to do dingy dingy <laughs> with animals. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake! But tell me, brother, isn't isn't they have some kind of uh, uh, discretionary punishment like tazit? They, they don't not, don't have hat like prescribed, but they no, have some no, kind of tazit, no uh, discretionary there punishment. There is nothing. There is no yeah, punishment. They should, so, but some, but they told me they have like a judge. Judge will decide what kind of punishment should be in, uh, implemented. Like it's not prescribed, but the judge needs to decide. Like. I don't know what. <laughs> for example, okay. for example, uh, someone he sent this picture for me. I'm laughing too much. If you commit adultery for those donkey uh, do dogs, no problem. <laughs> ah, this is this. Is, yeah, I I know this picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! God bless you, buddy. You are so. Habibi, God bless. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, hadith, hadith uh, 19, uh, 1, 119 uh, said bl all black people will go to hell or when yes. white people go to heaven. So I'm a black for myself. I don't know why. You're going to hellfire. Hell don't be happy. Yes. If you are a Muslim, <laughs> you're going to hellfire. <laughs> I don't know why my fellow uh, black hadith. people they are following Muslims. <laughs> Even Hadith in Mishkat Masabih 119, he said Allah created from left shoulder of Adam uh, black people and he said to the hellfire, I do not care. <laughs> this is crazy. So, bear, bear. so many funny things in, uh, in Quran, I don't know. Yeah, welcome to Islam. Pagan religion. Oh, for God's sake, see, well, this will do it. God bless you, God bless you, God bless, God bless you, my brother, God and all my brother and sister in humanity Muslim. God bless all my brother Christian, however, who support the live stream, uh, who share by gift, by, you know, tap on the screen. God bless you all, and we will see you, if God willing, um, tomorrow also, another live stream. Uh, Sunni Salafi Muslim, MashaAllah, come on, before we end it, MashaAllah, Sunni. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, are you Muslim? Of course I'm Muslim, are you Christian? Mm. What do you mean? Okay, mm. Why you can't so do you want to answer any question oh, we made yeah, it today? You just ask me a question, then I ask you a question, why you didn't answer it? Hmm. What do you mean? Okay, mm, you don't thank speak you for English? coming. You don't speak English? Thank you for coming, boy. Go play in thigh of chicken. And when you feel yourself, you grow up, be 18, come back to me. Okay, Habibi? Go play in thigh of chicken. When you grow up, you be 18, come back to me. Because here we don't have a diaper to change it for you. Okay, Habibi? God bless your brother and sister. And see you tomorrow, God willing. And send your Sheikh, Habibi. Send your Sheikh. Merry Christmas, Habibi. Merry Christmas to all brother and sister. And Happy New Year also.